Disney, Mickey, and Friends, a model patient. Minnie Mouse dashed into Mickey's house one morning with her kitten, Figaro, and some very exciting news. Pet Food Digest is looking for models for its next issue, she said. Wouldn't Figaro be great? She sure would, Mickey said. And what about Pluto? He's a natural too. Let's send in their pictures. A few days later, Mickey and Minnie got letters from the magazine. Someone was coming to take pictures of Pluto and Figaro the next day. The photo shoot started smoothly, but it did not stay that way. Look, isn't she cute? Mickey said when she saw Figaro sneaking into Pluto's picture. But when Pluto saw that she was carrying his chew toy, he was not happy. The next thing Mickey knew, Pluto was chasing Figaro all around the room. Boom! Down tumbled the backdrop. Crash! Over fell the lights. No, Pluto, Mickey cried. Bad dog. But Pluto just kept growling. He did not want Figaro playing with his toy. Suddenly, Pluto stopped growling. He backed up and held his paw to his nose. What happened, Pluto? said Mickey. Did Figaro scratch you? Pluto nodded, whining softly as Mickey gently patted his head. We'd better take you to the vet, Mickey said. You know, said the photographer, I know a great vet, Dr. Daisy. I bet she could see you right away. Dr. Daisy was more than happy to help Pluto. Say, when was the last time Pluto had a checkup? She asked as she swabbed his nose. Gosh, Mickey answered, I guess it's been a while. Well then, we should take care of that today too, Dr. Daisy said. You know, Dr. Daisy told the photographer, if you like, you can take pictures while I treat Pluto. Your readers might like to see what happens at a checkup. The photographer and his assistant thought for a second. That wasn't what they had planned to photograph, but it did sound like a good idea. Dr. Daisy scratched Pluto's back. I can already tell you're going to be a good patient, she said. Dr. Daisy looked into Pluto's ears to make sure they were nice and clean. She checked his teeth to make sure they were healthy. She even weighed him and measured his height. By the time Dr. Daisy listened to Pluto's heart, Pluto was starting to think that getting a checkup was a lot of fun. Then Dr. Daisy held up a needle. When Pluto saw it, he covered his head. Pluto's never like shots, Mickey told Dr. Daisy. Just then, he had an idea. He knew something Pluto did like. Mickey reached into his pocket and pulled out a treat. How about a bone, Pluto? He asked. Pluto quickly sat up. He was so focused on the bone that he didn't even notice when Dr. Daisy gave him his shot. A few days later, Minnie sat in Dr. Daisy's office reading the new issue of Pet Food Digest. This is such a good article about checkups, Minnie said. I never knew how important they were. Aren't you excited, Figaro? It's finally your turn. <laughs> the end. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss our next story, Mickey and Friends, A Perfect Picnic. Bye bye.